creating conversations that create other conversations. Arrow.net, A-R-R-O-E dot net. All right, let's do it. Let's play it forward. These are real people, real stories, the struggle to play it forward. Episode number 399 is with Derek Huff from ABC, Step Into the Movies. Hello. Hello and good morning. How are you doing today? Hello and good morning to you. Um, good. Dang, I was gonna, I was going to sing to you first. Singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. In the rain. <laughs> glorious feeling. I'm happy again. <laughs> you you do realize with with a step into the movies, you're going to recreate something here that is going to be talked about a lot because we know the scene, but it's it's going to have your touch to it. Yeah, well, you know, that was our goal. We, we didn't want to um, recreate these routines verbatim because the truth of the matter is you can never top the original, right? There's no way of doing that. But also we wanted to sort of just nod and to, to celebrate, um, you know, these amazing films that inspired us so much. So we wanted to reimagine them and give a little twist on them. Um, but again, it's, 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 it's a big thank you. It's a big love letter because, you know, dance for me, I mean, it's it's the gift that keeps on giving. I've, I've given me so much of my life. I've worked so hard, but but it's something that I'm so thankful for. It's given me so many opportunities. And these films, you know, a lot of them were films that inspired me to to pursue dancing. So, um, and and so many others, you know, so many people, and, and it, it, it meant so many things to people as well. Um, who, um, yeah, and we and we just want to just celebrate that and just just thank them. You know? Is is that where you learn the art of flow? Because I mean, I've been to the clubs. I know how people dance, but then we get to see someone like you, and it's like, what? <laughs> well, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I mean, it's again, you know, for instance, like Gene Kelly. He's somebody who I, I constantly, you know, defer to. You know, I, I'm like, I'm like, what would Gene do here? Like, you know, he. I look in the space and like, how would he use this pole, or how would he use a staircase, or. You know what I mean? Because that was one of the things I loved about him so much was that the way he used his environment, you know, was so inspiring. So, um, yeah, it's just, uh, just con- and that's the thing, too, is that what's so great about these films is, is that they're so nostalgic, they're so meaningful to so, so many different people for different reasons, but also even, like, a younger generation. Like, you know, for the show, we have, like, Charlie D'Amelio, who is a TikTok star. I mean, I'm a, a, a huge TikTok star and has brought dance to so many young, you know, people um, in a different way, but she is, she's a huge fan of these films, and she, she wanted to be a part of it to, to you know, bring this to, to her audience as well, and, and it's, um, it's really special, you know, we really want to sort of, you know, include everybody. And, and listeners need to understand that what you're doing with ABC with Step Into the Movies is it, it's not just on the old black and white films. I mean, you're even doing La La Land, dude. I mean, you're, you're very much up to date with this. Yeah, you know, and, and La La Land, it's, it's interesting. The way we kind of, we did that, well, one, I, I loved the film so much. I, I really did. I'm like, I, the music of that film is just, I, I'm in, oh, my favorite. It's so good. And we, what we wanted to do is because, you know, it's, it's only an hour special. So the truth of the matter is, is like, man, we, we would love to have a, you know, in the future, like, well, there's so many other movies we want to do and so many other routines. And so we're, we're jamming, we're jamming, you know, a lot into this. Um, and that was a perfect sort of a, a template for us to sort of celebrate all these different genres of dynamic duos within that song. Um, so we're doing it in like, we're doing each routine slightly in, a, in like little different ways, but honoring them all and, and tipping the hat and, and just, again, a love letter to all these amazing films. One of the things that's, that's amazing about watching you dance and, and to watch the, the classic films dance is the fact it's almost like one shot. You're getting all of this storyline through the dancing in one shot. Yeah, I mean, there is, there is definitely some scenes where we, we, you know, we want to honor that, that feeling. Um, but then there's also some like movie magic little moments that we have for, you know, that just... We want to give it that sort of a um, a little bit more of a contemporary feel, but again, but some moments I'm like, no, 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 no. We want to keep this feeling more like how it was. You know what I mean? Where it's more of a continuous shot. Um, and so, yeah, we, we were mindful of that. You know, uh, you know, there's a, there's a little moment of Moses supposes, for instance, and um, we were wanting to cut away. And I'm like, no, no, no. Let's live on this. Let's live on this one shot the whole way through. And um, you know, that way we really feel. Like it, it feels like the, like the film, you know. Do you ever get to enjoy a movie filled with dancing? Only because the only reason why I bring that up is because I'm a third degree black belt, and when I see a martial arts movie, it kind of gets inside of me. Do Do you ever get to enjoy a dance movie? 
Well, first of all, holy shit, you're a third degree black belt. That's incredible. Uh, oh my god. Um, actually, by the way, before I did dance, I was I, went, I did karate. I would go to my my my, uh, my sensei's house in her garage. Nice. Um, Louise Louise Bennett. Anyways, um, that, that's amazing, brother. Um, but yeah, I think no, I think when I'm watching film, uh, watching dance and film, yeah, I, I sometimes can get I can like step out of it. Like I kind of. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I wonder who choreographed this, or I wonder how this was. And, mm-hmm. um, but but often I'm I'm able to sort of get lost in it, though. You know, I think I'm able to just be a spectator and just be a, a, a an audience member and just enjoy it. I, I remember my sensei telling me when I first got into martial arts, he kept telling me martial arts, martial arts, and I kept I didn't understand. He says it's the art. Figure out where the art is now. Bring it together. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. And that's like, with, for me, dancing is, you know, I, the, I call dancers, you know, artistic athletes. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, um, it's this athleticism, but there's this artistry to it, of course. And so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's been awesome to sort of showcase this, um, this, you know, this, this style, this, this uh, what do you want to try to call it? To showcase dance in a way over these past 15 years, how long it's been. Um, and put it on television and, and really, you know, put it at the forefront, you know, it's, it's, uh, it was, it, you know, back in the day, the golden age, it was at the forefront. And then there was a time where things got, you know, a little bit dreary, a little bit dark, a little bit like, you know, too real, like, like very realistic. And then it's like, we lost a little bit of that magic. And so it's, it's really great to sort of bring back that magic, uh, of, um, you know, of dance into, into film and television as well. Well, you know, you, you know, dance in movies, you know, it's just something that, that I've totally embraced my entire life. I mean, even in Young Frankenstein, it was like, if, if, if you ever took the dance out of that, no, no, that, that, the, the movie would be missing something. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really special. And, and again, like, it was really cool to work with, um, you know, all these amazing people on the show, these guests, who... Um, you know, I would just I would just kind of talk about it. I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if, like, Kevin Bacon came and did something and did this and just kind of in passing. And then, like, the next day they like, say, hey, we got Kevin Bacon. I'm like, what? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's, that's incredible. I was like, I, I was just kind of saying that jokingly, but, like, wow. And it, it made it, it was like a true testament to, like, you know, just how these films have reached so many people and, and when people wanted to be a part of this, you know, it was really special. Do they sit down and study with you in the way that when you're doing a film, you do it in takes, but you, but yet when you're when you're on live television or you're just doing something like, like a special, like step into the movies, I mean, it's not like, stop, all right, let's go for take three. Well, luckily, this particular one is not live, so thank God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's funny, though. It's, it's actually funny to say that because not doing live is more... It, it's it's more weird, if you will, or different for me because um, because I'm so used to doing live television um, or live theater or my my live show in Vegas or whatever it is. It's like I'm I'm more used to doing live than not, and so to have that sort of um, you know to be able to be like, oh, you know what, let's do that one more time. It's kind of weird for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like I'm like we do it once, and like all right, let's do another one from a different angle, and I'm like. Wait, but that was the, that was the one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, t- I totally um, get that because in radio, I mean, if, if we're not doing a live show, you you miss the adrenaline rush and being on the edge and knowing that if you make a mistake, so what? You have to keep going. Yeah, yeah. No, there's definitely something really special about that. Um, but there's also something very, uh, um, I don't know, that, that it helps you breathe a little bit, knowing you're like, okay, we can we can do that again if we need to. Um, but to be honest, but you know, it's always kind of funny. It, it's really funny that with these shows. You know, strangely enough, it's it's uh, on a lot a lot of not all of them, but a lot of them. You realize like the first ones usually are the best. Wow! Um, because there, it is that adrenaline, it's that first take, it's that first moment, it's that first experience, and there's like a, there's a magic in that. Um, but there's there's some cases where you're like, oh, actually, it got better by like the, the third or fourth take. But um, but for the most part, but again, this was shot really fast really in a short amount of time and so to be honest with you there was all you know we we knocked them out really quickly and um you know and that's that's what's interesting too is that a lot of these films you know we look at them you're like oh they had months to, to prepare they had a full orchestra or they had this or that you know and you're like okay cool we have three hours to to put this routine together you know <laughs> so it's um uh, it's wild but we love that we love flying flying at the seat of our pants and and uh and just making some great entertainment. Well, vicariously, we live through you and you teach us how to dance with you. Thank you so much for your time today, Derek. 
Thank you, my man. I appreciate you. Well, you please, be... The next time if I see you, please, you know, don't beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in Charlotte. You guys always come cruising through here every now and then. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you be brilliant, man. All right, brother. Take care.